5. Welcome back to our English class. We are still on our quarter 2, week 4 to 5 from our Pivot 4A modules. Welcome back or welcome to our class. In this lesson, you are expected to identify the points of view or viewpoints on some viewing materials. What opinions or feelings do you usually express when you watch your favorite programs on TV? Have you experienced the feeling of happiness or sadness towards a particular show? These feelings and or opinions that one expresses on particular materials like shows and or pictures are known as Viewpoints Study the pictures below Let us reflect on the following questions What can you say about the pictures? What particular descriptions for each picture can you give? If you are going to relate the pictures to emotions What do you think are the the feelings expressed by each of them. For the first picture, the bird. What can you say about the bird? Is it feeling lonely? Feeling alone? Or what? How about this picture? This one. The sea. Can you feel the breeze of the sea? What can you say about the picture? How about this one? The bread. Or we call it monai. What can you say about it? And how about this flower or flowers? What can you feel or what can you say about this? Those that you have been feel or felt by these pictures are your viewpoints. Viewing materials like pictures and illustrations express particular emotions or feelings. These feelings are expressed not only on the perspectives of the illustrate illustrators but also with those of the viewers. So we have the learning task number one. Look at the picture below. Give it at least five words that will best describe it. Do this in your notebook. So I have here a colorful picture because in your modules it is black and white. So let's see. So we have samples here. We have the first one, refreshing. It's sunny. It's clean. It's beautiful. And it's white. Those are just examples. You can write your own words. The point of view or POV. The point of view, also known as viewpoint, refers to to the standpoint on how one sees or perceives the world. In viewing, POV deals with one's personal opinion or perception about a particular viewing material, such as videos and images or illustrations. In every viewing material, a viewer expresses his or her own perceptions or opinions on the concepts and context of the given viewing piece. This POV is used to express one's feelings about particular things.
Learning task number two. These are just examples. Again, you can do or write your own descri or describe your feelings or emotions expressed by each illustration below. So, here's for the first picture. They are happy to go to church. And for the second picture, they enjoy the food together. Again, you can write your own sentences or you can write the feelings that described by these pictures in your own words. Okay, another example for the other pictures. For this picture, for the first picture, so sad to see trees cut, cut down. Okay? So, for the next picture, indeed, a happy birthday for the celebrant. So, you can also do another sentences or describe the feelings or emotions that was expressed by each picture. Okay, so here's more example. Number one, or the first picture, she is a good provider. And... For the second picture, the farmer is tired but contented. Again, so you can write your own feelings, feelings or emotions that was described in each picture. So we have more. For this picture, they are scared because of the earthquake. And for this one, the people are grieving for they are flooded. Okay, for the learning task, examples only. Again, these are just examples. You can write your own. In your notebook, write three to five sentences expressing your point of view about the illustration below. So, we have here examples in this picture. For this picture, number one, the shining moments of Kevin Durant as MVP. Number two, the Golden State Warriors winning moments. Number three, the greatest team of all time. Okay. Learning task number four, examples only. So we have here a picture of a father and daughter. So you can write like this. The father is going to work. The little girl, the little girl is his daughter. They are saying goodbye to each other. The father loves his daughter. The father is hardworking. So you can describe your your own point of view for this picture. These are just examples. And for learning task number four, we have also examples. Here, the couple are enjoying the zip line. They are having fun. They love adventures. They are just married. They are young and vibrant couple. Okay, again, so you can write your own sentences. Okay, class, that's all for today. If you learned something from our lesson, please like and share and subscribe for more video lessons to come. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy learning.